सब्सक्राइब कीजिए आर के शॉर्ट हैंड यूट्यूब चैनल को और बेल आइकन पर भी प्रेस कीजिए ताकि आने वाले सभी शॉर्ट हैंड रिलेटेड वीडियोस आप देख सकें सबसे पहले सो इट हैज़ टू बी कंसीडर्ड वेदर इट इज रिलीफ इन टैक्सेशन विच विल लीड टू अ रिडक्शन ऑफ unemployment or whether it is rising of taxation to the utmost levels which will dry up the resources and channels of capital formation and thereby not only retreat all further development but might also through the functioning of present industries out of gear so my submission is that when the taxation enquiry committee has been appointed it is only logical to expect that no substantial changes in the taxation structure will be made until the findings of the expert committee are known until we are no the incidence of taxation in the various sectors of our economy now coming to the question of deficit financing i am afraid that my estimated friends attitude was somewhat different from the line of opinion in the business and industrial community not that we advocate deficit financing for bringing any artificial rise in prices but the fact is that those who have criticized deficit financing have not suggested any other alternative or made any necessary development plans after all the fact has got to be faced that whatever program we have set out in the national plan should go on unimpeded by any financial considerations and assurance has been given by the finance minister that so far as financial resources are concerned he will ensure that the five year plan will not in any way be retarded in this connection i can only say that deficit financing is one thing so far as the revenue budget is concerned so far as normal expenses and expenditure are concerned certainly nobody would advocate 
deficit financing which might be very undesirable but when it's a question of doing something abnormal of investing something in productive channels then certainly some risk has got to be taken and i think the finance minister has been fully cautious in taking whatever measures he has so far we know the measures that the government took for contracting money supply about the end of 1950 and certain other measures adopted which brought about a slump also from time to time the finance minister did not hesitate to mop up the surplus which as the records would show has been about rupees 300 crores during the past 4 or 5 years